Hello beautiful souls, I'm Shamama Hunting Owl and I am here with a reading and a check-in with what is going on for us now and through this weekend or whenever it is that you're finding this video. The timing for it is just right for you. Um, I want to thank you guys always for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all the good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much you guys. Um, I can tell you that my the message I'm getting is when it rains it pours and for me currently I can um, completely identify relate I know right now spirit has thrown me some wild ass curveballs with my current physical world and living situation um, it's been just fucking crazy a lot of you know I moved here to this new location three years ago and um and when I did, I was like, wow, this is perfect and great and wonderful. Well, um, uh, yeah, my landlord messaged me yesterday after last week saying they were going to renew my lease. And my landlord messaged me and changed his mind and said, nope, never mind. We're going to sell your house and you got to go find a place to live. So <laughs> my world has been completely flipped up fucking side down, you guys. And I know, and, and I melted down yesterday when I heard all of this. I had a complete total panic attack, meltdown, lost my shit, freaked the fuck out. Um, and because it's scary with what's going on in the world right now, I don't know where you guys all are, but here in South Florida, um, rent pr prices are through the roof. Um, there's a very limited availability of places to live as well as the fact that, you know, um, other issues are involved. And it's ju not just me that I have to consider now. I have my mom living here with me. And and so now this becomes a much bigger process. And just the sheer overwhelmment of having to move again and and find a place and uproot everything. And, and so yesterday was pretty like, ugh, freaked out for me, you guys. And, and, I, and, and I was in my woe is me, poor me mindset for a little while. And then I, of course, realized, you know, I have to come back to center. I have to come back to the initial shock of all of this, that tower collapsing on me. And now I have to clean up the mess. So, okay, I have no control over this. I have no choice. I have to move forward. I have to make the best of the situation. I have to see it as an adventure and not as a, a punishment, not as something that's going to be painful. Yes, there's going to be a shitload of shit and work I have to do um, to get this to come together. But I know spirit's going to put me in the right place at the right time and everything will happen as it's supposed to. Um, there was honestly and truthfully a brief moment where I got really triggered and upset at my divine masculine because I'm like, where the fuck are you when I'm going through all of this? And that's, and, and on top of all of this, the day before all of this happened, I had spent the entire day in the hospital with my oldest child. Um, who is who they are 24 years old and they're having issues with their kidneys and so we had spent the entire day before in the hospital so I have this going on with my child I have this going on now in my physical world of my own life and I'm just like what the fuck is happening and where are you damn it why are you not here <laughs> um but of course, then we get through and we process the trigger and, and that whole like feeling of I want to be saved from my situation and how no, nobody's coming to save me. I got to save myself, right? This is my life. I am, I am in control somewhat and I need to get myself out of this and see this as a new experience, a new opportunity that whatever has been blocking me will now be released because I have this opportunity for a new and exciting adventure coming forward. So I am embracing this today. I'm going to be going and looking at houses this afternoon to rent and, um, and God willing, right? Whatever spirit has in store for me will be so. So, um, but I share this all because these tower moments are happening. We're being moved. 
and and we need to go where we need to be to to our highest mission now because this is about mission this is bigger than than the twin flame dynamic in the relationship this is truly mission and i know that i'm strategically being put in a new place for that and those of you who are going through this same experience and having all of this shit, everything seemed real stable and smooth and like nothing was happening. And then boom, 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 lots of shit is coming up. Um, and the triggers that are coming up, of course, we have to talk about because, you know, the fact that I did panic initially, that I got overwhelmed initially, that's all the fears that I still have to heal within myself. You know, my lack of confidence with me being able to, my lack of trust, first of all, initially in spirit and what is happening. Secondly, my lack of confidence in myself that that I am strong enough, that I am capable enough to be able to do this by myself this time. And it was five, five, five on the counter. Where last time I moved, I had a lot more help. This time I have a lot less help. I have some great help. And my friends that are gonna be here to help me, I am so grateful for but it's gonna be a more challenging situation this time a little bit, you know? Um, so you guys anchor into those people who are in your world, who are supportive of you, who are your, your people that are there to help support you through these towers because there's going to be lots of them as we get put into the proper position is what I'm hearing. Literally, spirit is taking us and moving us and dropping us into a new location, um, into a new, um, and not maybe not, maybe you're not moving, but what I'm seeing is it's, it's a whole new experience that we are being opened up to. And so embrace that, you know, initial fear, getting through that, the humanness in me, the humanness in you, getting through that initial fear. And then embracing, embracing the adventure, embrace, embracing the newness of, of the possibilities, the potentialities that are now available to me and you. So it's, it is, it's a challenging energy, you guys, but it's navigatable as long as you can come back to center and remember that everything that is happening is for your highest, greatest good. I also want to say, I forgot to say it is Magdalene's feast day today. So we honor Magdalene today and I can feel her presence and her warmth and her comfort and her strength around me today in, in helping with what I have to face and deal with. So channel into Magdalene, you guys, she is accessible to you always. If you're needing a little extra love, a little extra support, a little extra self-confidence, in yourself so what did i pick for cards you guys i don't even know what did i pull oh the tarot of dreams this one by marchetti all right so the underlying energies and and so i just asked for what do we need to know about what's going on in our situation right now okay so i don't really know that this is going to be broken up into a masculine and feminine thing i think it's kind of like Take the messages as they fit for your situation is what I'm feeling. All right. First card, the chariot. Okay. There's movement happening. Well, that's what I've been fucking talking about for the past, past eight minutes, right, guys? There is movement, big movement happening, um, divine movement happening. Like this is by the forces of nature. You know, we see this guy in the chariot and I don't know who he is. He like, to me, it feels like very Poseidon energy because we see all of this water with the chariot and he is powerful. Look at him. He's like fucking ripped like a motherfucker. And he is driving, literally driving these two horses. I mean, he's in complete control and using the strength, the force of nature, the ocean, and the spiritual guidance from above to move him in the direction that they need to go. This is the energy. We are being moved in the direction that we need to go. And I know we just got out of cancer season, but we do have, I think, is that the cancer symbol? I don't even know, actually. 
but it reminded me of cancer. So if it isn't, I'm wrong and that's okay. But literally I'm seeing cancer energy in this. So this, I feel like what spirit is saying is this energy started in this past cancer season, this, this high, this high, um, intensity to be moved, to be moved. And where is it that we are being moved spirit? Well, to the palace of coins, <laughs> literally look at this card. Could you think of a prettier place to live? Look at how green and lush and nourishing and just beautiful. So we are being moved into our true home, our true home, your true home. So don't be afraid. We next get the faith, ah, the faith card, faith. Whatever your faith is, tap into it now. Because this is a five and the faith, it's, it's where the change comes from. When we believe, when we have faith, that we know that that which is in our highest, greatest good will always be delivered to us. And we really embrace that and sink into it. That is when the changes happen. That is when we can trust that where spirit is leading us is to our beautiful palace of pentacles, all the resources that we need to create our mission, okay? I love this, you guys, to live. I'm literally hearing to live a, a fulfilled life. Like a, again, I just keep looking at this card and all of the lush, lushness of everything that's going on here. It's beautiful. And there's a little owl. Look, you guys. Where is it? There's a little owl up in the tree. So it's definitely for our tribe, you guys. All right. So keep having faith in what's happening. Now, the next set of messages are related to what we need to know about our own situation, our own dynamic. Could be about your divine masculine, but I'm asking you to just kind of take this into your own awareness and sort this through for yourself. So the first cup we got, card we got for the next section, and you guys know I don't do reversals a lot, but this came out in reverse and I'm kept it in reverse, is the three of cups, okay? But it's reversed. This is overindulgence, I feel like. And it came out right next to the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this is partying, excessive indulgence coming to an end. This could be addictive drinking. This could be overindulgence in, in any sort of libation, libations, drinking, um, partying, uh, third party situations, threesomes, I don't know, whatever it is you're all into, whatever you are overindulging in is coming to an end. There's this overindulgence that is creating a ton of swords. It, this overindulgence is actually creating a suffering, a heavy burden on you. So what is it that you're indulging in? Is it smoking weed? Is it drinking? Is it cigarettes? Is it, again, like I said, sexual things, empty cups, drinking off empty cups, things that really aren't going to fulfill you, but you're so trying, so trying to find that. It's like reaching for, reaching for, um, what am I hearing? You're like reaching this, whoever this is, if this is you, it's like a reaching outside of yourself for fulfillment to, uh, yeah, and all you're doing or peace or, or nourishment or whatever, distraction, distraction, distraction from, from what will really fill your cup. And what this is doing is creating a very heavy burden, but it's a 10, so it's ending. This is done. Like you can't hide from the truth anymore. This is all hiding from the truth, right? Hiding from the truth, indulging, indulgence. I just keep hearing this indulgence in excess and it's keeping you, your cups empty. It's not really filling you. And that's where all this pain comes from. So now we have to face the truth that everything we've been doing to, to feed and fuel this, 
external external um, validations because I'm feeling like for some people this is this partying and this indulgence is because you're seeking external validation of who you are and your worth and and you're feeding off of that trying to fill your cup inside but you're drinking from empty cups and so this pain this truth at nothing you are doing is truly filling those cups is filling you emotionally is taking its toll the burden is heavy i'm hearing and so with this there's this clarity this illumination from the moon that says see through the illusion you have created face the things the deceptions that you've been telling yourself how have you been deceiving yourself with whatever you're doing like this is a moment to really dig in and reflect on your thoughts and and your behaviors and where you're going and what you're doing to fill your cup you know i keep going back and i'm sorry you guys so i'm saying the same thing over again but spirit's really asking me for you guys to not lay this message just on your masculine that they're the ones doing this because we always remember we mirror each other so evaluate is it thoughts are you how what are you doing is it people pleasing whatever it is explore your indulgences because the moon is bringing everything into focus right now it's illuminating the darkness and it's it's showing you it's showing you and i'm showing you right all right so the next card we get is the four of cups so many cups guys because when this moon illuminates what you're missing, this burden, what you're creating for yourself. Look, then this guy sees that fourth cup. He's now ignoring the three cups and he sees the fourth cup. Holy shit, it was there all along, right? I just was missing it because it was clouded behind the moon. But now the moon is shining and I can see that cup bright and clear. Holy shit. And it's a beautiful fucking cup. And even though I have three, wow, that one's beautiful. I wonder what it holds for me. So there's this thought. And so this person, you, whomever this is, decides, well, let me leave behind the things I have that I'm kind of bored with, honestly. They haven't filled me, right? This is that same three of cups that came in reverse, right? The three cups, they're not in reverse anymore, but they're fucking empty as empty. They ain't nothing in them. But this fourth cup, now that's got the juice in it. That's got the juice. So this person or you says, all right, I get it. I see what I need to do. I see where I'm being pushed, where I'm guided. I got to leave behind what I've got because it's not fulfilling me. It's empty. They're all fucking empty. Every cup is empty except for that fourth cup that spirit showed you is still out there, that extra cup. So where are we climbing? Where are we climbing? We're climbing the stairs. Where are we going? We're going to the palace of swords in the sky, the palace of truth ascending to a higher clarity and a new truth in our lives which brings us to the ten of coins abundance everything we've wanted this is the doorway to the palace of coins this is the archway that we will go through and we will have everything that we desire that we need. It's not even about desires. We came here with soul contracts. Spirit, gave, you know, we chose our things and spirit said, okay, have faith, trust, move with your intuition and spirit will deliver every single thing you need to do your mission. Whatever that looks like. If you need a million dollars, the million dollars will show the fuck up. If you need a place to live, the right place will show up. 
And there's no need, no need to panic. There's no need to get into a frenzy. Is it human? Is it natural? Most definitely. But do we need to create that? Did it do any good me yesterday losing my shit and freaking out? No, it made me feel way worse. Did I need to let it out? For sure, for sure. But I couldn't stay in that energy. I literally couldn't stay in that pit of pity, pitied, full, helpless energy. I knew I had to pull myself up out of it. And so I offer this strength to all of you. Have trust. Have faith in everything that you're being led to. And take a deep breath when the towers fall, you guys. Because everything is bringing us to a new, happier place. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope you have a beautiful and wonderful weekend. I am sending you all so much love and light. Gratitude and blessings always, always, always beautiful souls. Thank you again for being here and we will talk again soon. I love you guys. Bye-bye.